Well, hello again and welcome to another in the series of amazing puzzle solving techniques where I can ask you a simple question just to derive a number. This is a miscellaneous puzzle. First, let us look at the topic. It says 11D, which means 11 number in the diagram. 8B, 8 numbers will be visible. So of the 9 questions, 8 of those numbers can fit easily in the puzzle. 1M means 1 number will be missing. And 1R, of the 9 answers, 1 will be rejected. So let us start solving the question. First one say, what is the LCM of 2 and 6? First, we can just write the multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8. These are the first four multiples of 2. And these are the first four multiples of 6. So if we are looking for the least, num the least multiple in both of them, Obviously, it would be 6. So the LCM of 2 and 6 is 6. The second question says 2x equal 4 over 10. Therefore, what is x? 2x equals 4 over 10. Once we have an equal sign, we can cross multiply. So we can say 4 times x will be 4x. 10 times 2 would be 20. So 4x equals 20. We want to eliminate the 4. We divide by 4. We, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So 4 eliminates itself over here. So the x remains. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the x here is 5. The third question says... What is the average of 4, 5, and 12? We simply add the three numbers. This is 12. 5 plus 4 is 9. So the answer is 21. But because we have three numbers and we are looking for the average, we have to divide by 3. So 21 divided by 3, that's 7. This question is sort of a fun question, but I can ask any question just to derive a number. On a regular calendar, how many days have this month of May? How many, month, how many days does the month of May has? And my calendar certainly it has 31. 12 is subtracted from a number. If you call that number X, a lot of people tend to do this. 12 take away x, but that is incorrect. You've got to write the number. So that is 12 subtracted from a number. The result is 8. So we want to know what that number is. We can simply do the equation. x take away 12 plus 12 equal 8 plus 12. Now, minus 12 plus 12, that would be 0. So, x remain x equals 20. So, simply we can say 12 is subtracted from 20. Now, we know that number is 20. The result is 8. And it sounds good to me. Now, for this question, it says 64 divided by n equals 8. So, 64... Divide by n equal 8. And remember, we can put 8 over 1. Once there is an equal sign, we can cross multiply. So 8 times n would be 8n. 1 times 64 would be 64. So 8n. We are going to divide this side by 8 because we want to cancel the 8. What you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So this cancel this. So n equal 64 divided by 8 is 8. So the answer to this is 8. Now the next question say what is the square root of 4? 
this is the symbol for square root and simple mean what number multiply by itself give you four the only positive number that multiply by itself to give you four is two so the square root of four is two this question say what is the difference between 46 and 24 different simple means subtraction so I would say 46 subtract 24 6 take away 4 would be 2 4 take away 2 that would be 2 so for this question the difference is 22 and the final question says what is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 2 you notice multiply by zero is in its midst so whenever you have a straight multiplication question and multiply by zero is anywhere there the answer must be zero no matter how large the numbers are once you have a multiply by zero in its midst the answer must be zero now we are going to use all these numbers to solve the puzzle but first we analyze the puzzle for clue. It starts here and it's going to go in this direction. So this first term is missing. One is the second term. Two is the third term. And three is the third term. So three, two, one. We can use our wisdom to get this. So I'm just going to put zero. That's what we can still use the standard formula to get this, but for now, this is simple, so I'm just gonna say it's z. And I look over here and get rid of zero. By putting zero here, we now have three terms in the first sector: eight and three, eleven. Eleven plus zero is still eleven. So how much more do I add to 11 to get 16? 5. And I look over here and eliminate 5. Now in this ring, start with 5, goes to 10, goes to 15, fourth term is missing which I indicate with an X so I can simply use the formula or I can use my wisdom but I'm going to quickly use the formula to show although this has regular movement we can still use the formula the fourth term is X subtract the first that's 5 over 3 equal the third 15 subtract the second term which is 10 this is the x minus 5 over 3 equals 5. x minus 5 over 3 times 3 equals 5 times 3. 3 cancel 3. So x minus 5 equals 15. So x minus 5 equals 15. I can write x minus 5 plus 5 equals 15 plus 5. Minus 5 plus 5, that would be 0. So x remains. 15 plus 5 would be 20. So simple. We could just use our wisdom and know that this is 20. But I just use the formula quickly to show you that the formula works in all situations. Whether we have regular movement or irregular movement. So 20 goes there. And I get rid of 20 over here. Now, the fourth sector should add to 43. We have three terms. 25, 20 plus 5, 25 plus 3, 28. So how much more do I add to 28 to get 43? Subtract. So, 13 take away 8 with the 5, 3 take away 2 with 1. So, the answer is 15. But when I look over here, there is no 15. 
the puzzle said there will be a missing number so I can safely put 15 there and put 15 as my missing number now the first the inner ring as the first term at 3 second term at 4 third term missing fourth term 15 this has irregular movement this sequence is harder for us to use our wisdom so I'm going to race through the formula 15, the fourth term is 15 subtract the first term 3 over 3 equals the third term x take away 4 15 take away 3 that will be 12 over 3 equals x minus 4 12 divided by 3 to 4 equals x minus 4 so so I'm gonna put this here but I'm gonna put the right hand side first x minus 4 equals 4 now to get rid of minus 4 I have to add a positive 4 to this side so I can say x minus 4 plus 4 equals 4 plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 that's 0 so x remain on, on this side 4 plus 4 is 8 so 8 goes there so the x so this is the sequence and this is a sequence that obey the same rule although this sequence has irregular movement so I'm gonna get rid of it over there now looking we have six remain seven remain 31 2 and 22 we need four more numbers to fill up the puzzle but one of these number will be rejected so a quick list look we have 8 I'm gonna use 7 and 6 because that to me is a sequence 8 7 6 5 so I cross out 7 and I cross out 6 now let us add the first sector 10 and 4 the 14 plus 8 22 get rid of 22 third sector would be 6 and 2 would be 8 8 plus 8 would be 16 16 plus 15 31 get rid of 31 here so the only number the puzzle did not use was 2 so 2 is the reject number so all these sequences starting from this sector all sequences are all sequences obey one rule and this is also a sequence 3, 4, 8, 15. You can check it by using the formula. I can say 15 subtract 3 over 3 equal 8 subtract 4. 15 take away 3, that would be 12 over 3 equal 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So all sequences obey one rule. Thank you very much. Until next time, take care. Bye.